So once you have all the files extracted, you can go back to your virtual machine and back into ter a terminal. And I will clear the terminal. And what we will do right now, we should assign root privileges to our shared folder. So all our installation files we've, will have uh, sufficient privileges uh, in order to install SAP trial system correctly. So what I will do, I will type into command line sudo dash i. I will type down the password above 777 and I'm currently acting as my host name. And what I will do, I will go to my shared folder. So I go uh, to my shared folder, folder uh, by using command CD. Shared folder is stored in the media. And if you don't remember how you named your shared folder, you can press tab to show or to suggest uh, the folder. Uh, if you have, in our case, we have only one folder there. So, they, so this is why uh, Linux has offered the, our SAP inst shared folder. So we, we are right now in our shared, shared folder and I will press enter. So we are currently in our uh, shared folder. First of all, I will make sure that I'm currently in the, in the folder where my it's, uh, installation uh, installation file is located. So what I can do, I can use the command ls dash i dash a, and I can see still I'm not in there. So what I will I have to do, I should go inside of my uh, folder with the installation file. Depending on how you have stored that, um, you should go into the uh, into the folder where all the installation files are are located. So in my case, it is uh, subnet weaver as a as above and so on and I press enter and now when I type again ls dash a I see that I'm already inside of my installation folder and I find here my install sh file and what I want to do right now is to change uh, the privilege so and the privilege I want to add execution privilege to that installation file install sh so what I will do I will uh, type the change mode space and I will add execution right to the install and I can start typing and then press a tab and uh, Linux will finish that typing for me. So this is what I want to do. Change mode plus X install SH and press enter. Okay, so we are done with this part. We are very close to start installation, but one more step is ahead of us and this is update our ASE license. This is the last step and we are ready to start installations. So let's move forward to our last preparation step.